And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Hi there, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your Alaska Aviation Weather Outlook on this Sunday, May 2nd, and this outlook will be for uh, Monday and Tuesday early in the week. We start out though, there is a uh, front that's stalled out along the Brooks Range and around the spine of the Bo Brooks Range up through the North Slope, there is a shot of colder air that's dropping south, southwest we're down along uh, the Bering Strait that's bringing winter weather conditions. We have the potential for accumulating snow, Anatovic, Adigan passes westward up into areas of the uh, western North Slope and uh, the higher terrain on the west side of the Alaska Range. Brisk north, northwest winds will be spreading southward throughout the eastern Bering and along areas of the west coast down through uh, much of the Aleutian chain. Meanwhile, low pressure is going to spin up and move into the southeastern Gulf by the time we get into Tuesday. That's good with that, and a frontal system will bring uh, some stronger winds into the southern, southwestern areas of the Panhandle. And then a uh, large area of rain and rain showers will work its way west and northward as we head through midweek. Eventually, pretty good soaking rains moving uh, through areas of uh, the southern mainland on Wednesday into Wednesday night, and then uh, spreading up into the central interior by Thursday. So this will be a rather wet, soggy system for this time of year. Now, Monday afternoon, there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop with the daytime heating. Uh, yesterday, Saturday, Tanana had the state's high temperature at 76, so that's driving some of that instability because of the warm ridging that is nudging in from northwest Canada into the east central interior. But again, Monday afternoon, IFR conditions along and north of the spine of the Brooks Range North Slope Arctic Coast. And for Tuesday morning, here's kind of some of indication. Uh, of, of, of that low moving up in the Gulf, IFR conditions, central western Gulf. I should mention too, uh, the rains in Kodiak uh, will begin to taper off as we get into Monday evening, but still coming up this Sunday into uh, Monday morning afternoon, some areas could pick up another couple inches of rain on Kodiak Island. Uh, back uh, up across the north slope, still those IFR conditions, that colder air causing lower ceilings, visibilities, fog, even snow, as much as two to six inches of snow could fall, especially in elevations above two to 4,000 feet in areas along the spine here of the Brooks Range and North Slope. Further westward, we find with the colder air driving southward, IFR conditions along uh, through the Bering Strait around St. Lawrence Island, just off of the lower Yukon Delta. And for Tuesday afternoon then, we still have this frontal boundary kind of stalled right along the Brooks Range, but then colder air driving southward, brisk north winds from the Bering Strait all the way down uh, into the uh, Aleutians and eastern, uh, the tip there, the Alaska Peninsula winds will turn a little more northwesterly by the time they get that far south. We have, uh, precipitation moving up into the panhandle and uh, as we get into Wednesday beyond the time frame of this we expect an easterly wave to join up with the moisture coming up from the Gulf low and all of that's going to spread across the southern mainland along and south especially of the Alaska range but eventually it'll cross over the Alaska range as well and move up into the central interior by Thursday. So past conditions not good up there along the Brooks Range, IFR, low ceilings, visibilities, areas of snow and or mixed precipitation possible, especially along the spine of the Brooks Range northward into the North Slope, Adigan Pass, IFR of course, and then further south and uh, west. The Alaska Range will enjoy VFR conditions on Monday. We expect VFR conditions Lake Clark and Merrill rounding up through rainy and Windy Pass in the central Alaska Range. And then as we go eastward, uh, Isabel and Metasta Passes should see VFR conditions prevail on Monday. Down across the Copper River Basin, VFR conditions, Tanita Pass. And as we get into Portage Pass, uh, generally VFR conditions throughout the pass to start the day, but by the time we get into afternoon, we could see some MVFR conditions, especially there along the east entrance and extending out into Prince William Sound. And then the far north end of the panhandle at Chilkoot and White will hold on to VFR conditions on Monday, but conditions will likely deteriorate as we get uh, further into Tuesday uh, and Wednesday with that moisture coming back up uh, from the south. So looking at the freezing levels uh, at the surface, notice by Monday morning, temperatures below freezing south of St. Matthew uh, and uh, Nunavik Island down along areas of the west, northwest coast, including uh, the uh, L lower Yukon Delta, Seward Peninsula, and the western portion of the Brooks Range. 
Uh, we expect higher freezing levels aloft, a bit of ridging here still in through the middle upper Yukon Valley extending back into northwest Canada where we find even uh, freezing levels aloft above 8,000 feet there uh, further in uh, at the McKenzie River. And then uh, freezing levels do fall off uh, below uh, 2,000 feet all the way down to the central Aleutians. As I said, this uh, push of colder air is going to penetrate all the way down into the Aleutians and uh, the lower portion of the Alaska Peninsula. Greatest threat of icing, a few different areas. We have the remnant low that's provided uh, Kodiak Island with the rain and what's ever left there above 6,000 feet in some of the cloud cover. We have the area of snow over the western part of the north slope and uh, spine of the Brooks Range, especially in get the thicker precipitation producing clouds above two, 3,000 feet. And then there's some moisture. There's a low coming up here out of the uh, North Pacific heading up into the Gulf, uh, just clipping areas south of the Alaska Peninsula above 6,000 feet. So here's the jet stream pattern. At 30,000 feet, we have northerly flow coming down through the Bering Strait. While further east with the ridging, there's kind of a southeast-south flow up through the southeast-central mainland. And then a strong a jet core to 165 knots in the North Pacific, uh, well south of the Gulf and uh, southwest there of Haida Gwaii. And as we look at 9,000 feet or 700 millibars, here's a low circulation there on Monday. Uh, and within just south of the Gulf, trying to start to spread some stronger winds up toward uh, the southern panhandle, but a broad belt of mid-level winds at 40 knots coming down through the Chukchi Sea, eastern Russia, the Bering Strait pushing into the central Bering Sea, and then at 3,000 feet we can clearly see uh, the circulation of low pressure here south of the Gulf, some stronger band of winds of the frontal system lifting northward that will push across Haida Gwaii and, and begin to approach Dixon entrance here uh, Monday afternoon. Along the west side of the state, uh, north northeast winds along the northwest coast, Chukchi Sea coastline, and then northerly winds that extend down along the Bering Strait and off of the uh, lower Yukon Kuskokwim deltas through the eastern part of the uh, Bering Sea. And as a result, we have widespread moderate turbulence there, Western Brooks Range, Point Hope, down through the Bering Strait, the Seward Peninsula, St. Lawrence Island. St. Matthew, the lower Yukon Delta, Nunavik Island, out toward uh, the Pribilov Islands, and then also along much of the uh, Aleutian chain. All of this turbulence there surface to 3,000 feet. Also a pocket of turbulence uh, surface to 5,000 feet, some moderate turbulence possible there just outside the entrance of Cook Inlet and around Kodiak Island. And then as that next frontal system lifts its way, uh, northeastward, it will spread a belt of stronger winds by Monday afternoon and evening up across Haida Gwaii and up toward Dixon entrance there just south of Ketchikan with uh, moderate turbulence possible later Monday surface to 6,000 feet.